Hello and welcome, it's Ignorant Norman here, and this is my let's play of The Elder Scrolls for Oblivion, and this is part 25. In the last episode, we um, we finally complete the quest for Adeji's Ring, and um, I get the... Adeji was very grateful and rewarded me nicely for the ring. I get the feeling she hates Argonians, though. No wonder Amusei had trouble with her. Now all I have to do is report back to Screever and Breville, which is what we're going to do right now. And yeah, she dates Argonians, which is kind of weird because I'm an Argonian and I've just helped her out, so. Maybe we're not all that bad. Have pity on an old dog. So let's go see our friendly kitty cat, Screever. You have returned? I have. I've, I've sorted out a dirty star ring. Good work. You are truly an asset to the guild. I will make sure the Grey Fox himself hears about this. You do that. I am promoting you to Prowler. Congratulations. Ooh, I'm a Prowler now, am I? So what does that mean? I get 200 gold for that. Oh my good god. Have you got any special job? I have a small problem that you may be able to help with. The guild will even pay a reward. That buffoon Hieronymus Lex has invaded the Imperial City waterfront. Imperial watch guards from all over the city prowl the streets. Oh, that's not good. How about is it? Hieronymus Lex has vowed not to leave until the Grey Fox is in custody. The Fox is safe, but the Thieves' Guild cannot do business like this. The poor of the waterfront are kindred to the Grey Fox and will not betray him. However, Cubs soon get hungry. Soon someone will break. Many guild members could be jailed. Find Methrodil in the Imperial City. She is coordinating the guild's response. Okay, we'll do that. So again, you, you'll notice the mention of Methrodil. And um, she's definitely now a distinct member of the Thieves' Guild. Yeah, I've already done that too late. I've already even got the quest. But we're going to leave that for now. Um, and we're going to do something completely different. So we're just going to check his carry away. Yeah, I don't think I'm carrying anything of major significance. Although I do like that. Do I? Am I wearing a, a necklace? No. If I wear it openly, do they still know it's stolen? Let's hear. What? Nope, that's good. So what we're going to do at this point is we will probably sell the necklace because I don't like wearing stolen equipment all the time. But it is a good necklace for now. It will, um, I forgot what it does now. Reflect spell 14%, which is nice if I come across any mages. But what we're going to do right now is head back over to Kavach. And visit the, the last town that we haven't visited, which is Anvil. Um, technically, we have visited Skingrad, but we've only just briefly passed it. It is somewhere we will be visiting a bit later on. So, what we'll do is we'll start... ...at Kavach here. And head along as where... Because we've already been at Kavach, so I'm not going to walk all the way back from the Warner Inn. And do it all over again. I am going to do it this way. At this point, I've got way more than enough arrows to buy as many arrows as I want, if I really need to. Or enough gold to buy as many arrows as I want, if I need to. But 92 is a decent amount for now. And we're still going to work on that sneak because I've kind of got an idea of the mission that I want to do. And the mission should... Oh, that's doing more damage now. The mission should unlock another mission. Or another guild, hopefully. But I'll show you what I do. I don't like... There is another way of doing this and... 
there's many ways of doing it, but certain quests will also activate this. So it's worth checking out. Now, that is a bandit. If I've never seen one before. Yeah. Right in the back of his neck. How did you not die? Now you're dead. Is that the steel arrow? Dwarven dagger. Hmm. Nah. Still not worth it. Well, there's guys with spikes on the red here. Uh, oh, and Oblivion Gate. Like I said, Oblivion Gate start popping up all over the place. Um, but the guys with the spikes on the red, I'm not 100% sure why that's there. I'm not sure if there's a cave near here. But hey, we're going to ignore it anyway. There seems to be a got shot in. Alright, seems to be an in here. This is actually a pretty nice place. But not what we're doing right now. So let's head on as merry way. There's a Legion Forester, so I'll start running and jump in because I'm pretty sure even if something does attack us, the Forester will deal with it. It's not a Forester, it's just a Legion. I thought that was a wolf then, which is really weird considering we've just passed an Imperial Legion member. The Legion, for the most part, are fairly good people. The Blades are definitely very good people. The Legion, for the most part, are fairly good people. Do you do get, like, anything with a watch? Um, they're corrupt. Some of them are corrupt. Uh, we'll deal with some of that later on. But mostly, they're decent people just doing a job. This one's riding very fast. Is this a messenger? Yeah, it is, but you're riding back and forth. I don't know where you're supposed to be delivering that message, message to, but you're not getting anywhere fast going back and forth. Oh, we found another inn. There's a lot of inns along this short path of road. I mean, we've only just passed one. This is the Brina Cross Inn. Interesting. Some grape vines I can take. I heard it on the grape vine. Honey, honey. Okay, I'm still going the right way. I want to unlock Anvil because the, the, uh, there's a good chance I will be doing. The Crowhaven and the Great Prince quest there at some point very soon. You definitely don't want to leave that quest too late. Um, I'm not going to spoil anything, but you definitely want to com do that quest before you complete the arena. Uh, it makes things a hell of a lot easier. Wow, I know what you are. Are you running back? Going back to your hidey hole. Come on then. Yeah, you're a highway man. Highway this arrow to your face. Uh oh. This ends. Yeah, nice try. Dwarven Balax, we'll take that, that's worth selling. Take us five steel arrow back. One of the issues of this game is the level scaling, so you'll notice that like everybody's had an iron armor or a steel armor before then. 
now we're getting to the dwarven stuff and a lot of people start dropping um, dwarven armor, dwarven weapons they're valued a lot more but they weigh a lot more so that's the the compromise you make there unfortunately it's good to well at this point if you were a I suppose if you were a fighter you'd be bringing up your strength quite a bit and you would have a way higher strength which means you could carry a lot more I mean, if I was playing a fighting character right now, I'd probably have a strength in the region of 70. Which means I'd be able to carry like 350. Nearly 400, I think, is worth of goods. I saw some at. Oh, something saw me for a second. Ah, it's just a deer. Ooh. Meek! Meek knows much. Tell. Some. Mike knows many things others do not. This is Mike the liar, and he'll give you some rumors. Everybody's talking about the prophet. After the attack on the chapel, people are inclined to believe almost anything. Every. Uh, Mike is like. Um, Mike's in Morrowind and he's in Skyrim. I'm not sure about the previous games, but basically, he's like. Um, He's like a stepping stone to the developers, to the programmers, and he normally gives you different stuff. I mean, everybody's talk. I, I suppose what he's saying is people are inclined to believe anything is that people generally, they hear something and they believe it without question. I think is what he's trying to say there, that in general people will believe anything that they're told. Um, they're very mass... Most people are very mass oriented so if you see someone on the news facebook or anything you're inclined to believe it without questioning it and that's a really bad trait that human beings have in general because we shouldn't we should question things people can people's lives can be ruined that way by just believing things that somebody has said which could be completely false or they've heard it's like a Bad game of Chinese whispers, if you've heard of the Chinese whispers. It is where you hear something and it gets diluted so many times that what you actually hear is nothing near what the original rumour was. Anyway, this is Anvil, and we're going to go straight in. Yes. No messing around this time. It's getting quite late. So what we're going to do first is look for known routes. See? What seems to be the problem? Um, tell me about rumors. Paul's ropes faster can run faster than anyone I've ever seen. Of course, he can't often walk a straight line. Interesting. So I'm guessing he's a master of athletics. Eh? Go go. Tell me about rumors. Everybody's talking about the prophet. After the attack on the chapel, people are inclined to believe almost anything. Oh well, the, for Mike's line wasn't unique, which normally it is. Maybe if I see him again, we'll, we'll get a unique line from him. Uh, tell me about Anvil. Sorry, I'm new in town. Don't know a soul. Really? All right. Talk to her. She seems to have all the answers. Count's arms. Sounds like a place I can get some rest and some gossip. Shishani, the old sea captain and rover. Now a ship owner and fat cat. Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you too, somebody amicable. Tell me about rumors. I saw that Benaris Inventius was out hunting again. He can shoot a bird on the wing without really trying. 
Ooh, a master archer. Now, that oh, might come in sure. useful. Hello, Velwyn Benaris. We'll talk to you later. Velwyn here is uh, part Hello of a there. quest. Uh, a player home. But we'll deal with that later. I'm Wilbur, owner and proprietor of the Count's Arms. We make beds and food available to guests. Can I help you? Uh, well, I'm a guest, so... Can you tell me about rumors? Hey, you're the one they call the hero of Kavach, aren't you? The one that closed the Oblivion Gate and saved the city. Oh yeah, I should make mention that once you close the Oblivion Gate, Kavach, you'll get known by quite a few people as being what's called the hero Kavach, which will bring up your fame. Um, that is a nice way of not having to use speechcraft because fame will, the more fame you get, the more people will like you automatically. I think that's the case. Anyway, I, I did find that I never used to use speechcraft a lot in this game. And I never had a problem getting people to tell me stuff because my fame was really high at the time. Um, let's take a bed for the night. wonderful room available. It's the best I have. And you can use it for the night for a mere 25 gold. 25 gold? That's ridiculous. No, thank right. you. I'll find somewhere else. Good day. Its scent is unfamiliar. Oh, it's you, Shazana. I'd rather sleep in Fighters Guild. It's free. They call me Wilhelm the Worm, because dirt suits me fine. Town lets me live in the warehouse to keep out the rats. Oh, nice. Uh, tell me about rumors. Don't know if this is true, but I heard a gang of all-female thieves is preying on the married menfolk of the town. Oh. Tell me about this gang. An all-female gang of thieves has been recently plaguing Anvil with a very unique method of robbing. They pick on only the men. If you want to help us do something about it, go talk to Gogan and Malona. Let's just say Gogan is intimately involved and leave it at that. That's funny, he never mentioned anything about that. Be seeing you. When I spoke to him. So let's go see this Gorgon. His house is open. But he's upstairs. I'm guessing it's not going to be long till his house is closed. So we might need to hurry this up. How would you like to get my husband Gorgon out of hot water? Show what's he done. Me. He'll need all the help he can get to worm his way out of this one. To think he'd fall for the gang's scheme. Ugh. I could kill him. I'm sorry. I'm rambling. And you look confused. Let me explain. Go on, tell the me more. The gang use their wiles to lure men out to some remote location and rob them blind. It's been going on for some time now. The city guard hasn't done very much about it, because frankly, the men who are robbed are so embarrassed, they don't want to report it. Take, for example, that good-for-nothing husband of mine, Gogan. He cared more about their charms than my own. I like it here. <laughs> are very friendly. Much nicer than in the Imperial City. Uh, tell me about this gang. When Gogan was, um, with the women, they took something quite valuable from him. I bet no, they did. No, it's not what you're thinking. Oh. He was carrying a precious family heirloom with him when he was lured out to their lair. It was a small ring given to him on our wedding day. The ring belonged to my mother and has been in the family for generations. I'm willing to give you all the money I have to get it back. 100 gold. Well, we'll see how valuable the ring us? is. Thank you. I'm afraid I can't offer you much help, but I'll do what I can. 
All I can tell you is that the best place to start is at the Flowing Bowl. It's a tavern located outside the city walls near the waterfront. Gogan may be able to give you more information beyond that. Okay, thank you. The flowing bowl attracts the worst and will has to work. Let's go see Gogan. You have words? I want as much information as I can. What do you want? Tell me about this gang. See, my wife couldn't keep her <coughs> mouth shut. Yes, it's true. I lost the family ring to those sirens. I'm ashamed about the whole incident, but not ashamed enough to ask for your help. I was sitting in the flowing bowl when the most fetching Nord woman you've ever seen walked in with an equally attractive Imperial woman following. After we exchanged words, I followed them out to a farmhouse. Inside, they asked me to remove my clothes and items. Well, I did. And then suddenly they brandished weapons and robbed me. They sent me away with barely a stitch of clothing. Harlots. Just please help me get that ring back. I want to save what's left of my marriage. Well, I think the um, the really trick there is never I fall for a pretty face. Especially when they tell you to strip naked and get, remove all your stuff. And you've already just met them. Yeah, so the word siren comes from um, basically yes. it comes from an old word from basically a type of mermaid that used to deceive yeah. men on the edges. Of, so when people were on ships like this, you used to get sirens that would hang out on the rocks and basically send men towards their doom. So kind of shipwreck um, ships and stuff like that, make them run aground. Uh, there's a TV show out at the moment called Sirens, so it's quite cool actually. It's all about mermaids and that. So. Hail. They say that when you murder someone, the Dark Fresh Brotherhood game. comes to you in your sleep. Hey there, it's how oh. recruit new Good Signe nerve. wants to talk to you. I think you'll like what she has to say. Ooh, pretty lady. Safe travel. Well, as pretty as it can be for Skyrim. I haven't seen uh, for you here before. Ah. And you're all alone, too. I am. Sad. Well, if you're up to it, I think we can solve that little problem. You see, me and Faustina here are lonely, too. I you know. We've been looking for someone. Oh, really? You look like just what we need. I'll tell you what. We have a cozy farmhouse not far from here where we could, well, get to know each other. Much, much better. I'll mark it down on your map just so you won't forget where to find us. Meet us there around 11 o'clock. I can promise you a night of fun you won't soon forget. And the clues in the name here, Alex, called Signy Homewrecker. Do I really have to spell it out for you? You're a man, and I'm a woman with a certain desire. You figure out the rest. Ooh. How goes it? Nice. Okay, I'll meet you there. Hello. What time is it? It's 11.27 now. Can I get there in time? I haven't been there. And I haven't been to Dunbarra Cove. Ah, uh, this is going to be annoying. I could probably go from... Is Bellator's folly closer? Or is... I think Bellator's Folly is probably a little bit closer. <laughs> so we'll head that direction from Bellator's Folly here. Ah. You'd expect something to be around there, but no. And this is where we're going to have to cross, uh, cut across country. So, bow at the ready. Healing at the ready. It's good for acrobatic skill, just don't jump too far and break my legs. <gasps> Oops, like that. Let's get into sneak. While we heal up. I'm 
not sure what our restoration is right now, but once it gets to 25, I'm going to start looking at a, a slightly better healing spell. And I know where I could pick one up. So don't worry about that. It's nearly at 22. Destruction's at 20. Maximum's now at 33. Can't wait while well, there are enemies nearby. What, over there? Ah, oh, yeah, there definitely looks to be somewhat over there. But this is the farm. Now, we're a bit later than we said we would be. It's always nice to make a fashionable late entrance. Stand up for this. Hello, Fustina. I see you took us up on our offer. Oh, Good. why not? I'm glad to see you. Sydney will be along shortly. I'm sure we can find something to do while we wait. I'm pretty sure we can. Now, we can't have you standing there all uncomfortable in all those clothes. Why don't you take everything off and place it there on the table? What? What are you talking about? Don't you want to have fun? Come on, don't be shy. Or are you here for something else? I'm here for Gorgon's Damn, ring. I knew it. You're working for the city guard, aren't you? I didn't think they would be stupid enough to send someone alone. But so be it. I should have known after I fenced that stupid ring and discovered it was a fake. Worthless. All part of the guard's plan, I suppose. How the ring is a fair. Okay, girls. We got someone who doesn't want to cooperate. Just because you're invisible doesn't mean I can't see you. That's one down. You'll make a fine pair of boots, lizard. Alright, just me and you, Faustina. Excellent. After entering the farmhouse, I encountered Faustina, who tried to entice me to remove my weapons, armor, and clothing and place them aside. Knowing that this was a ruse, I refused. She yelled out and the rest of the gang entered the room, fully armed and ready for battle. I had no choice but to kill him. We had a feeling you'd be surprised when you saw us in our real uniforms. I see you have a puzzled look on your face. Ask away. Gang? Gogan and I are really members of the Anvil City Watch. I suppose you could say we work undercover. We've been trying to foil Faustina's gang for months now. Every time we tried to interview a man who was lured there, they refused to talk. The women in the gang picked married men to seduce for just that reason. It was decided the only way to stop this gang was to send in a stranger. You fit the bill perfectly. It's a shame it had to end in so much violence. But someone was bound to get hurt sooner or later. Yeah, luckily then, not me. We'll clean up the mess. Don't concern yourself about it. I'm sure you had no choice. If you ever find yourself back in Anvil, Stop by any time and say hello. Oh, and please say nothing to anyone about our true identities. You've done well, and here's the reward that I promised. Ah, you gave me more than a hundred. Brilliant. Right, why don't you just blessing. wait a second, because I want to loot them. What happened to their weapons? Ah. Huh. Witch Splinter. Ooh, that looks nice. One minute.
Drain Intelligence, 10 points. For 20 seconds of strike. Damage Magic. It. That's good against mages, but not really too useful for me. But. Really? I mean, it's breaking in, so will you move? Damn it. That's it, you go that way. Three gold. Clothing and pickaxe. Lusty Argonian maid. Someday, uh, one of my friends wants me to read that. I'm not gonna, just yet. But maybe at some point I will read the Lusty Argonian Med. Oh, gold! Panerys' prized Minotaur horn. Oh, I wonder if I can give him that back. Oakenhall family jewels, a letter. That's one of their enticements. Heinrich's pants, Heinrich's shirt, Panaris's shirt. So these are obviously Panaris's iron caress. Astia's necklace. And his fan fancy pants. So these are obviously the equipment and clothes of the people that they've robbed. And that's that, really. So, time to go back to Anvil Main Gate. We're going to get some sleep. And we'll call it a day. Anvil is one of the few places I can get a Thieves Guild contract for. So I might do that next. Um, but we'll see. Now I didn't see the message. Unless I missed yeah, I it. You. So maybe this isn't going to work exactly how I wanted it to. But we'll see. Nope. Ah. Morning. Ah well. How goes it? Well, we're going to call it if man. now. Thank you all for watching. I've been Ignorant Norman. This has been my let's play of The Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. And I'll see you all next time. Thank you. Goodbye.